I'm trying always to look at the student needs. My main goal for them is to push their limits as much as possible. Every lesson is like a reawakening. There's so much passion that he gives no matter what I'm playing for him. Walking into his room, you can just hear him working with someone, just like his voice, and it's so uplifting, and it just gives you so much energy, even if you're not feeling up to it. I think he inspires you too. In the lessons, when he plays something, it's so obvious how it should sound. And it's really inspiring having a teacher who's so able to demonstrate how he hears the music. I think to say he's been dedicated is an understatement. He molds his teaching style to who you are. He does really consider everything about you, and I know he also prioritizes being a musician and having you be the best musician possible, which I've really appreciated. I'm going to challenge them, you know, I'm going to push them as much as possible, but of course I can also ensure that they will get under 50% of my attention. For me, it's important to see them coming in and coming out of y'all, playing it in a much, much higher level. It feels like a little family. I'm pretty close to almost everybody in my year, and I think we're all pretty close to each other, and it hasn't been competitive at all. It's just everybody is so supportive of each other, and it's always been a very nurturing and inspiring environment. Yes, it's fundamental for me to teach. I love it more than anything else, and I'm very grateful I can do that. No matter where someone comes into the studio in terms of their, their level, I think almost always they come out of Yale a much more informed, much more interesting at least, musician. Mm -hmm.